What's going on guys, welcome back to Custodian and another day in the life of an OCK engineer. We're going to be doing a full rack and stack, seeing as we got a lot of interest and a lot of good feedback from our how to properly rack server video. So I'm going to go this way, if you want to follow me, we're going to go see James, he's currently setting up. We've got a load of servers to install for a customer. So he's currently prepping all of that, getting all the rails ready and stuff. We do have some maintenance work going on here, some servicing of our fire systems. So you may hear some beeping. So we're going to go up and find James. Okay, so here we are, and I've found James. So this is one of our unfinished, well, I say unfinished, our unracked pods. So we've got very, we've got 12 pods in data floor four, and they scale from 18 racks on the top floor to 22, I believe, on the ground floor. Um, the customer is actually in the pod next door, so we're gonna use this space to get everything ready. Once we've done that, we're then gonna move the rails in, get all the rails put in, then we'll move the servers in, switches, and then we'll get cabling. So we're gonna, well, I think James has pretty much got it all under control. So I'm gonna go and have a cup of tea while he does that. Okay, so here we are ready to take the rails in. I've got my gloves, my boots, and my ear protection, um, purely because I need it for health and safety reasons. I don't wanna go deaf. I don't wanna cut my hands up on the rails because they're sharp metal objects. And if they fall on my feet, I'll know about it. So wear my steel toe cap. So I'm going to take these next door. James is going to just finish off doing the stuff with the servers, getting them ready. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get started. Well, I'll just park those bad boys there. Um, right, I suppose I should get the uh, blanking out of the rack because it's going to be hard to install the server otherwise. So in order to make things a little bit easier, I'm even going to take the door off just because it kind of swings and it might get in my way. So let's just lift, take the roof out in the process. I'm just going to put that over it. Just going to find James. Okay, so now we're going to get the rails mounted. James has gone around the back. We've got three three U's, the rest are two U's. So we're just going to work to that. So we'll get these mounted. Why though? Why? Well, the front now ones will have to. Screwdriver and undo all this. No, the front one could come forward a bit. Right, well, that won't take five minutes, will it? Okay, so what's happened is we found that the rail is a little bit longer for how the rack is currently bolted. So, what we're going to have to do is undo the bolts on the rack, physically move the mounting bars, I suppose you could call it. So, these bits here, forwards and backwards, um, to, so that the rails actually fit inside the rack itself. Let's have a side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get the server that's going in here just to make sure that A, we put the rails in the right place and B, that the rails are uh, functioning correctly. So what we'll probably do, get one in, put it in and then we'll just put the rest of the rails in then all the servers. So. Your side. Yeah, I've got mine. <laughs> So now we're going to carry on putting the rails in um, and then we'll just do that over and over and over again. Okay, so we've finished putting all the rails in now. Hopefully you'll listen it by a lovely time lapse. Um, we're going to go get the servers, we're going to slide them all in and then we're going to mount the network switches and look at the cabling. So, yeah, we'll be back in a second. We should have loaded the three you lost. <laughs> Right. 
Cool. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to mount the switches that customer have given us in the back of the rack. Uh, this is their design. Um, so they've requested them for them to be in the back so the cables just stay in the back rather than going back to front. Um, so what we're going to do now is mount the cage nuts and then we'll get the switches and mount them physically in the rack. <laughs> Yeah, so what we've done now is we've placed the cage nuts into the rack. Ash is just going to go and get the um, switches themselves and then we'll screw them into the rack. After that, we're going to cable up all the servers as per their design. And that's just where we're at. Okay, Ash, if you stick it in the bottom one then. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll do the bottom screws and then you can let go. It's got to bottom. Right, so now we're done the servers, the next thing to do is get the cable in here. So we're going to go get the boxes of Cat5, get all the boots, the plugs and the crimp tools and then we'll be back in here to, uh, to cable it all up now. So yeah, see you in a sec. So the plan is to uh, cut all the lengths to the longest length possible to the bottom server from the top. So we'll take one length of cable, plug it in and then that will be our measure and then we'll cut all of the other lengths to that length and then we'll just slowly chop them up as they go to each server so they're all the correct length there's no slack sitting anywhere in the rack um, yeah there's not much else to it really apart from making sure we write on them as to which port goes where So at the moment I'm just putting a load of boots on the end, um, pull the boots on, strip them all back, then I can untwist them, put the plugs on, plug them into a switch, we can run them down, get them measured out for length, cut them, put the other end on. And if you guys want to learn how to do this, be it for work or for at home, we'll put a link in description or maybe a card in one of these corners. Um, we've actually done a how to on crimping cat five. And uh, yeah, it's been tried and tested over our 10, 10 years of operation, well, 11 years of operation, I believe. Um, and it keeps customers online. Okay, so me and Ash have made all the ends off on one side of the cables. Um, we've marked them up with a little sharpie so we know what's what. Um, so both ends are marked with numbers and then we'll plug them into the correct numbers on the ports and loom them in and then we'll feed off each cable to each server with the correct numbers again. <laughs> Right, so you will notice that I'm actually going to take it down this side of the tray. However, we have also got power cables to go in as well. Now the reason for me taking it down this side of the tray with probably the power cables as well is there are some fibre cables to go in. So although we were not going to show that because I don't have the cars and fibres yet, we like to keep those separate means that if you've got a random engineer pulling on a piece of copper it also means they're not pulling on fibre as well you don't want to bend a fibre accidentally so it just helps random people from not bending things incorrectly and then there are also some U space PDUs to go in as well rather than our zero U ones that we normally supply in the rack so we've got more space in the tray this time so I have this cool tool it's called a cable comb it's a US painted tool, I had to order it from the US and they're actually quite hard to get hold of. But it does make life easier when doing this kind of looming. You can do it by hand and there are some really clever people out that have done it by hand and they do it all the time and it looks fantastic. But if you're like me and you haven't got any time, one of these is great. Oh, 
and pull down it quickly. Yep, so now I've finished looming the cables with the Velcro. We're going to tie them into the tray this time and reorganise the cables at the top so they come off at a nice angle on the switches. And then we'll start tying them into the servers one by one. Now they're tied into the rack, next thing for us to do is to actually pull out each cable one by one and t plug it into the server and properly crimp them. Um, so we'll do that one by one to keep the looms intact, uh, so that's the next job. Okay, so as you can see, we've now done all the cabling. Everything's now nice and neat, ready to go, ready for the customer to bring their PDUs in and get everything set up, powered on and, and ready to go. I'm just sorting out all these offcuts because we're gonna make them up to sell them to customers because we don't like waste. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. We'll probably put some B-roll of the cable porn and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video and remember to subscribe guys. See you next time.